viewers and subscribers you're welcome back again this is toby vi channel one where we tell you undiluted truth nigerians now i understand the true meaning of he that plays the flute dictates the tune dangote the monopolist of nigeria as he's called is now dictating the price of fuel solely that it has announced through nmpc how much they'll be selling the dangote refinery has denied selling petrol at 898 naira per liter to the nnpcl the group chief brandon and communications officer at dangote refinery anthony chejina issued the rebuttal following the commencement of loading of petrol from the company on Sunday, after months of delays, Chejina stated that the refinery sold the products to NNPCL in dollars, resulting in significant savings compared to what they are currently importing. It has been a game of back and forth, but in case you don't know, this guy does the explicit explanation of all this madness. Now this price, Dangote and NAPC agreed. Dangote will be selling at this price to NAPC. Yesterday, Dangote cost sell for them for eight ninety seven. The cost of what happen? Dangote say this one one will be supply to you so this first shipment. We got the crude oil from outside the country. We import them. No be NAPC supply us. When we buy the crude oil. We use dollar, buy them. So now that we are selling to you, we look at the dollar equivalence. As we call check out, we call converter to Naira. Now we they sell to you so. Make now wait. When we they refine the one where NFPC supply to us, then we cannot sell to you at this price. For now, the one where we import never finish. When we call the refine the one where NAPC supply to us, we cannot sell at this price to NAPC. It means for you where we they expect cheaper for a price. If NAPC buy from Dangote at this price, it means say you can't get for less than 900 naira for now. That is the meaning. Good. Now, where are we? The NAPC Limited. In case you don't know, is the sole off taker of Dangote Fuel. And by the time you know who bought NMPC Limited in terms of their business transaction, the people that are owning their transaction, you will understand that we are all slaves to the man or men in power. Okay, let us quickly do uh, research. From the Google, type NNPC, but Oando. Let's see what we've got there. In 2019, Oando fully divested his equity interest in OVH, resulting in Vito and Helios holding 50% equity interest, respectively. Upon acquisition of OVH by NNPC, both NNPC Retail Limited and OVH effectively became subsidiaries of NNPC Limited. Now scroll down to ask further questions. Right here, he said here, NNPC Limited acquires OVH energy downstream asset. That is from NNPC. But just type or ask, who is the current owner of Oando to start with? Executive Chairman and Director Adewale Tinibu has pioneered the execution of world-class initiatives in the region as an ethical business leader, entrepreneur, and philanthropist. Let us clap for that. Now, go down further to ask, who owns NNPC filling stations? Last month, Premium Times reports how a court ruling had effectively dissolved the downstream arm of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited and transferred its ownership to OVH Energy Marketing Limited. You get the point now. Good. Now, if you say you want to ask further, like in the Abroko, what happened 
to Boando. In a press release dated March 20, 30th, 2023, one of the Nigeria's most notable oil and gas company, Boando, announced it has decided to delist from the exchange by delisting the company will go private and no longer be a public quoted company. Business of one man. <laughs> Hey, make could I use your tongue to count your teeth? Because all these years, Nigerians have been using their teeth to count their tongue, biting it every day. And it pain. It pain everybody as we speak today. Because when NNPC announced the price, Nigerians will be buying fuel. I bought 1,300 yesterday. Only God knows how much I'll be buying tomorrow. Everybody is now a slave to these people. Because everything in Nigeria revolves around fuel. There is no electricity. If you must have light, you go and buy fuel. If you must do your babbing. In fact, that is the reason why I'm still carrying my hair. <laughs> in case you don't know, all over the hair, Papa is going dreadlock this time. Everybody should not carry long hair and dreadlock. Because if you go to the barber shop, you cannot bab just one hair. For 2000 because of the price of fuel. People who are transporting food from their villages, when they bring it to town, it is only by God's grace, we speaking in tongue, you should be able to buy a morsel of bread. I bought one loaf for nearly 2,000 naira yesterday. One loaf of bread. It is not a luxury to eat bread. Growing up as a child, we, we had a bakery. My father has and run different bakeries. At the time, when we they say Nigeria done bad, we are selling one set of bread at 1,500. One set of bread is 10 loaves of bread at 1,005. But today, you can buy one loaf of bread for 2,000 naira in a space of short time. In our lifetime. <laughs> I'm not talking about 90s. I'm talking about just a few years back. All thanks and glory to APC. And the one that is in power today. They jacked up the price of fuel from two something to 1,000 plus as we speak today. The same people that took over to the streets to protest the no-go grief say Jonathan increased pump price. We are respecting the totality. Get it soft. Get soft and we keep us in lamentation. No! By man, I don't know if it's five naira or there about. When we are buying naira, a fuel per liter below 100 naira. Now, the same people that are in power today. And Nigerians are behaving that all is well. Everybody adjusting to bad governance. Continue adjusting to bad governance. Now, only people will go survive them. We go live after 2027. Now, them go remain to vote this government out of. Or if ever they will learn from it. If ever they will learn from it. Other videos that I'll be releasing subsequently will open your eyes the more. So that those who call themselves Abadorians, those who call themselves Batterias, the bad fellows. Well, I believe you are having it better with your tag as APC member. No wonder they are crying. They are wailing. But on the next video, I will address that. Keep watching and I will keep speaking. The least you can do is to keep sharing so that more Nigerians will be awoken. Whenever they have the opportunity, they will know what to do. I'm Asu Peters, the advocate for good governance. Bye-bye for now.